everybody, I'm Butterfly Hallow. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, hello. Um, I'm goofy. But anyways, if you like this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe. We're almost at our 100 subscribers, which I will be doing a massive giveaway. Um, yeah. So, let's get into it. Today, what we are going to do is a candle dressing video. I've had a lot of comments about people wanting to see how to do it. So, I've got two different, um, like, situations here. Like, what you would do for a stick candle, what you would do for a rolled beeswax candle. Um, okay. So, I got a sheet of rolled, or a sheet of beeswax. It's green. Looks kind of blue teal or something on this, but it's green. Um, we're going to be doing it for luck and money and business. So, I've got a lot of stuff up here. It, when you do these, it takes a blow dryer. So, you're going to need a blow dryer. And then you're going to need whatever types of herbs that you associate with whatever you're doing. Um, like I've got rosebuds for, um, I want the money to come from a loving place. I've got chamomile because I want it slow and steady and just coming like when it will not stop. Okay. Um, we got the badass basil. Um, butterfly said a bad word. With the badass basil for um, money. We got bay leaves for money. We got devil's shoestrings for business. We have got goldenrod for luck. We have got fenugreek for business. And we have got lemon balm for luck. Alright you guys. First, what you want to do is cleanse and charge all of your ingredients, okay? So, like, I would take this out, and I would cleanse it, and then I would charge it. I would sit there and put my intention into everything. So, let's pretend like I did that to all of this stuff, okay? Um, you know, either pray over it or just feel it going from your heart into your arms, lower arms into your hands, and then into the herb. Alright, so first we need to heat up our piece of beeswax. We got stuff flying everywhere. Um, you don't want to overheat it. You just want to make it pliable so it don't break. And you can get these on Amazon. Comes in like a big box like this. And you'll get like every color for like, I don't know, 30 bucks. All right, you guys, so, oh, we're going to need a wick. <laughs> Forgot to get the wick. I don't have scissors, so we'll do it like that. And that piece is not long enough, so let's try this again. All right. Now, we've got a wick. Huh. Sorry about this, guys. Wasn't thinking ahead.
lose our wick. All right, so now it's pliable, as you can see. We are going to take our wick, and you want to move kind of fast, you guys. Kind of push it down into it so it don't move on you. I usually put it about an inch to a half inch from the corner. Then you're just going to take all of your little herbies and sprinkle them on the inside. Now you don't want to use too much or else this candle will like burst into flames. Kind of crazy, I know, but there we go. Hello, golden rod. Beautiful. That works too. Okay. A little lemon balm. Our badass basil. Put these two on in at the end. Oh, I might have waited too long, guys. And then you just simply roll it. Okay, do you see what I'm doing here? I'm just rolling the candle with all of the herbs inside. Try to make it as tight as you can to ensure that you get a nice, good, tight candle. Kind of like the ones that we get in our boxes for the Witch's Moon and the Witch's Roots. Perfect. Okay. And there you have it. Now, I always like to put a few herbs on the outside. Kind of like decoration. Oh, and while it's still kind of pliable, push it down into a hard surface. That way it gets that shape to where it can stand up on its own. All right, so I like to put a few herbs on the outside to kind of like decorate it. So that's how we're going to use our double shoestring and our bay leaves. Okay, double shoestring, I'm just going to kind of push it through. There we go. Push it through like this, too. Maybe it's getting hard. There it goes. There we go. See? Now it's got these little teeter-totter things. And our bay leaf. You can actually, after it's already, you know, made like that, you can heat it up again so that you can stick something into it. So we're going to heat it up. And just heat up the spot that I'm wanting to put the bay leaf. We're just going to stick that sucker on there. Like that. Where you get all of your ingredients. Because that would have been kind of hard to like roll up, you know? So, and so would these. So, this is a way of getting them also. Let's get rid of that ugly thing. There. Ugly. Okay. Me, I don't like it when it's like this, so what I'll do is I'll kind of smush the top and kind of make it look like a candle, you know? There. And there you have it. You've got your dress candle. Very cute, right? Alright. Now, the other way method. Um, we're going to use a stick candle again. 
or if all you have is like a potted candle, that works too. Here, I'll even grab one so that you can see. Um, we will grab this one. Heart. Oh, it says heart on it, so that works perfectly. We no longer need this. The next candle that we are going to make will be for love and passion or lust. You know, sexy time. So goofy. All right. Let's put our devil's shoestrings back in there. You have no clue how hard it is to find devil's shoestrings. Um, I live in Indiana, though, so we don't have a whole lot of witchy shops. All right, you're going to need a tray, and you're going to need your herbs that you desire um, for whichever type of candle that you're going to be making, and I use a torch, okay? Uh, you might be able to use a hair dryer. I'm not sure. I've always used torches, though, so regular stick candle, and what we're going to do, I've got hibiscus here. Hibiscus for love, and we're just going to sprinkle some all over. Love hibiscus. I don't have a whole lot. I'll be drinking this shit up. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I try to watch my mouth. Especially on my channel, you know? Inappropriate. Inappropriate. Then I've also got peppermint. Also for love and lust. I've got chickweed for love and lust. I've got sandalwood for lust. Red sandalwood, my bad. Red sandalwood. Because there is a difference, guys. There is a difference. We have got saffron threads. Now, these are very expensive right here. So, I'm going to pull a few out. And kind of scatter them. And the same deal. You want to cleanse and charge all of these ingredients. Before you use them. And I just showed you how to cleanse and charge. Well, how to charge anyway. And then I've got my own little secret little recipe. That I don't even know what's in it. Because I bought it like this. And it's called Lust. Candle dressing. So. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of that in there. Smells divine, so. Alright. Now, the tricky part. What we're going to do is we're going to heat up little sections of the candle. And we're going to stick it in our little bed of Herbies. And we try not, and when we um, go ahead and heat up another section, we try not to burn our herbs, okay? So this is actually pretty difficult. There we go. We got the top. Look how beautiful that is. So pretty. Almost burnt the herbs. <laughs> Butterfly don't know what she's doing, guys. Looks like we got a piece of blue wax from something. <laughs> Or you can pick it up and put it on there. That works too. Sometimes you have to. And this one's not, it's too big to put on here. So it's not getting here in the middle. So I'm having to pick it up and throw it on there. But you want to do it quick before the wax actually dries. Beautiful, beautiful. And your wax is going to be dripping, okay? So this is a messy method. I like the hand-rolled beeswax candle myself. That is my favorite way of doing this.
get in a spot. You missed. Be careful not to burn yourself, guys. And there you have it. Isn't it pretty? Okay, now for our potted candle. This will also be for love. We've already got all of our little herbies there. All I do is I take my torch and I go around the wick because you don't want to light the wick yet, right? So I go around the wick, which actually is very difficult. Okay, and I get a little pull going in there, and then I just add all of my little ingredients, all my little herbies, which is, this one's so much easier. Ew, this smells so good. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> I'm so retarded, y'all. I'm goofy. Alright, so is that dry yet? No. Now, when you're picking your candle, okay, white is good for anything. Um, you really want to use your colors, you know, wisely. Like, yellow can be used for happiness, green for money, you know, um, blue spirituality, um, purple magic, um, Orange uh, is good for business. Um, what colors am I missing? Red for uh, passion, pink for love. You really just want to choose your colors wisely. And then with your herbs, even if it don't say that it is for that, if you feel like in your heart that you need that herb on that candle, put that herb on that candle, okay? Your heart knows what's best. All right, you guys, so this one's done. Look how beautiful. See, and it don't come out. Beautiful. All right, you guys. So this was my video on how to dress a candle. I hope you liked it. Um, I kind of ran through it a little fast, I think, but I think we did a really good job. Um, if you want, we can go ahead and burn this and see how you know, or actually, no, I've got some other things to talk about on, you know, dressing a candle. There's also other ways to dress a candle. You can dress it with honey. You can use oils. Like, this is my secret, you know, money oil that I made. Isn't that cute blue bottle? So this is my secret little money oil that I've made. Um, here's my money candle. What I'll do is I will get it off that plate where all the love herbs are, first of all, in a little dropper. <laughs> I will put a few drops on my candle. like this and I will rub it around also cleanse and charge your oil you guys I will have another video on how to make this money oil so I'll share my little secret with you guys and believe me it works it's a very very good recipe as long as you set your intentions high you know set your intentions to where there's a lot of power in that intention. Mean it, okay? Alright, so this one is done, alright? Unless you wanted to put honey on there. Honey is good for attraction. You want stuff to stick to you, like money? You want some money to stick to you? Let's go ahead and put some honey on there, okay? Honey is also another good way to get the herbs to stick so we'll go ahead and show you how to do that too here we go that candle is ready
we will go ahead and set it on fire. All right, let's see, which one can we use for, excuse me, you guys this candle's already been lit before but we're gonna pretend like it hasn't been and we're gonna set our money candle to the side our money business and luck candle okay we're gonna set that over there now we're gonna use honey You want, you want to bless your honey and charge it. Honey, I want you to attract money to me. If you're wanting to do it for money. Or, honey, I want you to attract love. Make me a love magnet. Okay? Make love stick to me. Okay? So, we are going to... We'll do this one for love because we already got this out. yourself a little honey and go ahead get messy okay go ahead and get messy it's fun you know get it all sticky cover everything and then you're just gonna roll it you're going to roll it in your herbs That is another way to make or dress your candle. Feel pretty? We'll go ahead and light it too. Just to show you. <laughs> when I said get messy, I got messy. Baby. Baby. Will you give me a paper towel? I got honey all over my hands. Talking to my husband. See our... Thank you. That's my husband, everybody. Hello. He says hi. He also practices with me. Um, one of my... Subscribers actually told me that him and his wife or girlfriend um, practice together also. I just think that's really, really cool. It's, you don't hear about, you know, uh, you know, a spouse or a girlfriend or a boyfriend or somebody like that practicing together. You don't hear about that often. So that really makes me happy. So shout out to you. You know who I'm talking about. All right, you guys. So. Still a little sticky, but I ain't got herbies all over me. So, we'll go ahead and look. Our candle is doing fantastic, guys. Here, we'll go ahead and set him right there. Can you guys see him still? Yes. All right. Now, we'll light this one just to show you how it's doing. If you want it, we'll go ahead and light this one. Well, you can see all of them actually work. You know, nothing is wrong with them. This one will not stand up by itself, but that's not my fault. Um, <laughs> all right, guys. So I hope you liked my video. Um, yeah. If you like this video, make sure you hit like and subscribe. Um, I, like I said, we will be doing a giveaway as soon as we get our 100 subscribers. We are almost there. We need three more subscribers and we're there. Um, I will be making a video on how to make your own charcoal sticks for black salt. Um, as soon as I get, you know, those other three subscribers. That way I can announce when we're doing our live video. Alright you guys, until next time.
blessed be. Thank you.